guys, another video review for you. This time we are taking a look at Toy World Aurora. Uh, now this guy is the second figure of the throttle bots that they've been doing. Uh, this guy is modeled after a, I believe a Range Rover, something or other. Uh, I know it's a Range Rover, but it's the model. I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Uh, he is white, and I'm doing it on a white background, but hopefully it'll come out okay. Uh, again, third-party figure, so the Autobot logos you're going to see uh, have been added by me. They are repro labels. Uh, this one, I actually just, what I did was, you can see it looks totally clean on there. I actually just stuck it on there right on the seam of where the uh, hood splits for the legs. And I just started, took a, a razor blade and I just cut straight down that line and it splits and connects just fine. And to scrub the sticker, that way I have a complete stick on the hood. Um, on Grind Rod, this was the hood. It was this section up here, became the um, the front of his the front of his chest rather. It was up here. This guy, it's the windshield. So putting a sticker on the windshield would have looked stupid. And plus, you have to flip it around, so it had it been upside down, so it would have looked double stupid. But yeah, uh, this guy is like I said, a Range Rover. There are no markings to say he's a Range Rover, but he's a Range Rover. Uh, he does have this license plate that says Aurora, and that is removable. If that's for the combiner, that might be for the combiner. Nobody knows because they haven't shown anything about it yet. But that's there. Nice painted on detail with the head, with the tail lights, and this uh, the exhaust part, the front grille. Uh, nice blacked out windows, a blacked out roof. Very very cool looking. Nice silver trim, gray trim on here on the silver and silver wheels. Wheels again, very clean underneath, just like uh, grind rod. Um, his gun does store right here. It's not like grind rods. And uh, speaking of grind rod, quick comparison to him, just so you can see how they stack up together. Uh, all things considered, this guy should be a foot as well because he has the same front transformation. I don't feel like pulling it off, but the same thing where it bends at the front to become a foot. We think, but he's very similarly sized. A little bit smaller just because he's a smaller truck rather than the Jeep that this guy is, but very comparable. Very, very, very similar tough plastic, very nice uh, similar joints. Uh, we'll take a comparison of them in robot mode together too, but uh, this guy is an homage to the Throttlebot Searchlight, who I have right here. So uh, I was explaining what the Throttlebots were in a previous video, but just to show you what, they, what their gimmick was, was pull back on them and they would drive all around and you let the wheels spin out but yeah as you can see they are totally different vehicles this guy is like a I don't know a sports car kind of with lights on the front this guy is actually fairly filthy Ugh, I need to clean this guy up actually I have several of these I think I have two or three of him so this is just the one I had on the shelf for now. But as you can see, somewhat similar of a car. We'll get into the, uh, uh, wow, he's freaking filthy. I really need to clean him. Somewhat similar of a car, but we'll compare them in, uh, in robot mode as well. So, transformation. Oh, well, he does also roll very nicely, much like grind rod. Transformation, start off by flipping around, pull out the gun. Uh, to transform the gun, you do have to get in here and this is very stiff but I found that if you just get a nail in there and just kind of work it enough so that you can get in there if you flip it out uh, some people have unscrewed the screw a little bit that's also a viable option put the gun off to the side for this guy what you want to do is come to the doors and just start wiggling the whole front section um, there are these giant tabs inside the doors so just make sure you clear that and kind of just crack the whole front section in half. Um, he does, his legs do extend right here, much like grind rods, but they're not as extreme. Um, they only come forward a little bit as opposed to grind rods, which came out probably at least double that. So you come, uh, come over here, split the hood. You can see where I cut the sticker. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to pull this top front section of the hood actually slides forward. So you're gonna do that and then kind of wiggle this free. And it's on this same kind of double hinge as grind rods, like that. The whole transformation is very reminiscent of grind rod, but it's not the same. I'm gonna flip the foot up. So again, lift, push forward, double hinge that forward and up. 
So now here we have our first major difference between him and Grind Rod. On Grind Rod, you just literally folded these down like that, but instead what we're gonna do is pull the door out. It's on this round, slidey hinge there. Pull that out, Rot um, also fold the wheel in. Rotate the door around, and then fold the windshield down. And then what you wanna do is just give that a push. Push it up here, and then push it down here, and that'll flatten it out and make everything nice and stiff and solid. So again, pull all the way out, flip that wheel back, rotate around, fold that windshield in, push down here, and then give it a little tug there. And there we have his feet done. So now for his upper body, um, the upper part is basically is very, very, very similar to Grand Rod, even more similar than the legs. So what you want to do is separate the wheel wells. Why does he want to be super stiff all of a sudden? There we go. Separate the wheel wells on both sides. That one was easier. And just get them out of the way. Come over here to the hood. Instead of grabbing this whole thing, that guy just flipped around. Um, the joints on this guy are a little bit looser overall than grind rod, but um, grab this section right there and lift that up. And then fold it along the back hinge and then press down this way as far as it'll go. And it'll only go oops, that far. So then rotate these around. And again, just like grind rod, their pegs are offset. So we can peg those together. These actually peg in a lot tighter than grind rods. Um, come over here rotate this around. There's a hinge right in there as you can see. Make sure that license plate ain't going nowhere. And then fold that back section down. It doesn't lock in but it stays there just flat, just fine. Come over to the arm. Well that was strange. His arm just fell off. His hand just fell out. Did it break? No it didn't break. Just fell out. Okay, no problem. Let's uh, get that guy back in there. All right, whatever. Uh, flip, rotate out the arms. Uh, again, fold these windshield, the back windshields, uh, forward on that double hinge, same as ground rod. Around, fold them forward. Lift up on the shoulders and make sure that these are all rotated forward properly. Okay, now on the head. Um, you can see that this whole this is all one piece of light piping and it's screwed on it's one piece of light piping and then the blue piece is the face um, I find if I push up on here you can see it's starting to separate the light piping I don't know why it's just a tight joint on mine but what you want to do is at least just to be careful pinch them together and then kind of just wiggle don't like just push it up kind of wiggle it close to the joint and then it'll be, it should be okay I don't know if that's just mine but Whatever. His hand's got me bothered now. It's stiff now. Anyway, I guess that was just a fluke. It's just a friction joint, so it's not like it's gonna break. So now what we want to do is lift this up and then fold it. Um, just keep it forward, fold it down a little bit like that, just so you can rotate. What you want to do is you want to rotate that 90 degrees, so the white parts are facing up and then just collapse it. That joint is actually very squeaky. I'm gonna collapse it down and in, and um, there's two slots right here on the inside of the hood, and two pegs right there. You just wanna give it a squeeze and push it like up here on these corners and it'll peg in just fine. So basically, there we have Aurora in his robot mode. As you can see, I did add a couple extra Autobot logos up here on the shoulders. But uh, you can also see his trademark searchlights up there on the hood.
on the upper part of him. So, take his gun, just plug it into his fist, like so. So there we have them all set. So, as far as articulation, head swivels, much looser than grind rods. Head swivels back and forth, uh, rotates all the way to the shoulder on a ball joint, has this upper, has this inner shoulder movement for the transformation. Uh, cut at the upper bicep, bends at the elbow, 90 degrees. Wrists do rotate, very stiffly, but they will rotate. And as you can see, they can pop off on mine. Hip rotation at the waist, ball joints at the hips, cut at the thigh, nice deep bend at the double bend at the knee, mostly for transformation. I just make sure that they're, pull those out a little bit, make sure that they're straight. And that's basically it for, for articulation. Again, you can get some great poses out of this guy. Uh, so let's take a look real quick with G1 searchlight. Um, let me just show you how to transform these guys. You literally just get underneath here, fold it up at the white bit, collapse this in, fold out the doors for arms, flip back that for the head, and there you go. So as you can see, he's much taller than his G1 self. But you can act, you can totally also see, we'll zoom in here on the faces. Very, very, very similar faces. Uh, more of a yellow, more of an orange, but other than that, very similar faces. So there he is with his G1 counterpart. So just a quick comparison comparison between him and his cousin Grindrod. Um, you can see that they're basically the same size, more or less. The guy is a hair taller than Grindrod. Yeah, just a hair taller at the head. Um, he does have much smaller shoes than Grindrod. Grindrod does have these big stomping boots, which I do like in their own right. Uh, his light piping is not nearly as obstructed as you can see. It's actually shining through pretty good, as opposed to grind rod where this, the backpack prohibits his his uh, light piping. But uh, overall, just they look great together. So look at that. I do wish his gun was more integrated, like uh, grind rod is uh, his spare tire, which I think is really cool. Just a nice little addition. But yeah, these guys do look absolutely great together. And uh, totally looking forward to the next one. So thank God they've actually shown, and there are pre-orders for him, and he is actually coming. So very cool, and he looks like he has a different transformation. But yeah, these guys do look great together. And I am totally digging the throttle bots. So yeah, again, totally love him. If you grab, if you find him, just grab him. If you do uh, have a couple extra bucks and you're into these throttle bots, or if you're just into good toys. Totally grab him. Totally awesome. Totally worth it. Very happy with him. So yeah, this has been the video review for Toy World's Throttlebot Aurora.